guys i'm so obsessed like i'm so obsessed about my baby she's so cute um i don't know if she's a mini me because she looks so much like her dad but i think she looks like me a little bit today i think she looks like me okay but you look like mommy wow my channel i have a special guest today Tanya, are you ready for your first youtube feature on mommy's channel are you ready to be rich and famous well <laughs> well let's see say hi guys my name is Hanya. thank you so much for the love that you have showed us especially on my birth vlog i mean this baby has like the warmest welcome ever so i want to officially welcome you to Hanya's. what is this Hanya's nursery it's not really a bedroom it's just a nursery you know um so yeah i thought i should feature her and me and her should wear like matching tutu dresses Hanya receives so many gifts Hanya, i think you receive more gifts than mommy but that's okay we're not in competition we're in collaboration anyway welcome to her nursery and her room i wanted to do her nursery reveal before she was actually born but um, I was just waiting for a few things to arrive and to get delivered So this is why there was a little bit of a delay with that But I think it's more special that she's here now And she can be a part of it And she just had her feed And then yeah we had a little uh, What you call it? I don't want to call it an accident Because these things are normal We are chogos Chogos are king What's that? Anyway, yeah, it's when like they puke out some of the milk that you give them. Anyway, you guys, so this is Hanya's uh, nursery and with our friends and our partners from Facebook Babies, I got amazing furniture. I got this cot bed and I got this compactum and my lovely chair that I also got from Facebook Babies. I think they have amazing furniture for kids nurseries and for me it was, it just went without doubt that I would use them to get my baby furniture. And so we sit here during our feeding times and it's nice because we like directly by the window, like half of the room is like a window. So there's so much light that's coming in so we can take selfies the whole day. Anyway, one thing I love about this room is is her personalized name. I love personalized things. Well, Hanya, okay, all right. Well, Hanya likes personalized things, I think. Okay, all right, honey. So anyway, <clears throat> this is gonna be interesting. Anyway, so I chose green for her name because I didn't want her room to be pink. I think I was very intentional with the colors that I used for her room. So I love yellow, I love green. I love this sort of, um, nature feel you know so i love animals and stuff like that so that's sort of the kind of look and feel that i wanted to go with and my favorite part of the room as well is our two giraffes that are here so the big long giraffe on the wall her name is ginger and the small giraffe that's like right next to it is called Gigi. so it's ginger and Gigi that's featured and i showed you guys the, the carpet previously um that i got from an auction so it's very nice and comfortable for her. And then what else, Hanya? Her furniture is very cute. We try to stay away from pink, although today, wow, you see, guys, she's doing it again. Wow, okay, everybody, sorry. Oh, Hanya, no. This is our life, okay? So, wow, it's a lot. But anyway, you guys, and she's matching with her doll. Let me just get it. I'm so sorry I squashed it. Is this nice unicorn doll, soft doll? So this is yours, guys. I couldn't even tie my dress. Please excuse it if it like literally falls off. It works for her convenience if she wants to fit. But I struggle to zip it, not because it doesn't fit, but I think there's just something wrong with the zip. Okay. So anyway, I love this chair because I have back problems. I think I've mentioned this before. So this chair is absolutely perfect for me, and I can. It has like a little incline thing to put up your legs. So then I chose this chair and it's so comfortable and Hanya is sleeping and I'm so grateful she laughs and smiles in the sleep so hopefully you guys get to see that as well okay sorry my honey anyway so I love soft toys and there's a lot of soft toys in the room 
and hopefully she's gonna like it as well because guys honestly these babies can't communicate so we assume they like certain things but actually you the one that likes those things you assume your child likes it then they grow up and they're like yay or nay so hopefully me and Khanya are like the same whatsapp group wow Khanya okay so Khanya needs to go and rest you guys I see my sister driving in like I told you there's a glass window here so I can really see her so I'm gonna give her the baby so the first month with this baby was quite hectic. Um, the first few days after hospital, we got sick. We had to go back to hospital. She came back. She cries a lot during the night. The first few weeks, we woke up every single two hours. And then eventually now, because it's the second month, we're waking up every three hours, which is amazing. But um, I think I went through so much stress because I just, I just, I just don't want it to feel any pain. I don't want it to cry a lot. I don't want it to be sick. The anxiety is just, is getting to me. Breastfeeding on its own is so much work, and it's so exhausting, and it's so painful. Like I now understand why people stop breastfeeding in the first month because it's physically, emotionally draining. Okay, and it's only now in the second month that it's so much better. I don't feel pain anymore. Um, I have more milk, so I don't have to like force the milk out and drink tea the whole day and do all those things. So I think now it's it's I sort of like got used to it. But honestly, I could feel myself getting into a mini depression because I was like, listen, my scar first and foremost is trying to heal. I'm trying to get out of pain from the surgery. I'm trying to breastfeed. It's painful. My boobs are big. They are painful. The baby's crying. The baby is not sleeping. Hold on, please call mommy. Call mommy. Yeah. So there's just so much you're trying to adjust, you're trying to look for, for, for a nanny and you're struggling to find the perfect nanny. There's just so much that happens and honestly, you can literally break down and lose it as a parent. So for me, eventually, I, I think I'm finally just finding that, that peace and I'm, I'm finally, I have find, wow. English. I finally found a nice routine or I'm developing a nice routine so that I can enjoy the process a little bit more and I can also rest and one thing that I also try to do is to just get out of the house because just staying in the house the entire time can really get you. It got to me guys to a point where even when I go to like a shopping center or a spa I'm like wow this place is so beautiful because I'm in the house the whole time. Come on. My sister was kind enough to help me pack her clothes in a compactum, which is so pretty. So she packed like newborn, zero to three months, uh, three to six months, and then 12 months onwards. So yeah, my sister has been so helpful. Innocent has been coming to my house. So I think we finally have a balance and we finally sort it. So, Hannah has three beds, you guys. So she's got this bed in her nursery which we're not really using at the moment for some reason but we have another bed downstairs it's called for moms it literally just like moves like this it puts it to bed it's got like shusha music like shh, shh shh it's amazing it's amazing and then there's a bed she has a bed in my room as well which is like a co-sleeper so i don't sleep with her in bed so yeah lucky fish three beds I can't wait until she uses this one. Then she's out of my room. She's, wow, guys, I miss my sleep so badly. But again, let me tell you guys what happened. So there was a night my sister came, she's like, give me the bottles, let me sleep with the baby. For the first time, I slept the entire night. I remember texting Matema. She, I think I sent her voice to so I was like, girl, I slept the whole night. My sister fed the baby bottles. It felt so good because me and her sort of like talk at any time. Like because there's that night shift, midnight hour, overtime, don't tell me. You know that we relate on because wow, these babies don't sleep. Anyway, guys, let me close this off here and say thank you so much for watching. This has been my first month experience with Hanya. It has been just the nursery tour. You know, I, I don't want to call it tour because tour seems like you are going through this huge room. It's a nice tiny space that's suitable for myself and Hanya, or for Hanya and myself since it's hers. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Do the right thing and you'll know what it is. You need to subscribe if you want more content from my channel. Thank you so much to the new subscribers that have joined the family. You guys are absolutely amazing. Welcome to the family, welcome to the club. More amazing content coming up in 2022, honey. We're going big, but we're going home. Just like that, I'm gonna sign out and say I love you guys. Bye. Hanya, say bye.
one day she's gonna watch this video and like, what are you doing, mama? Why? Why? Why, mommy? These are all memories for you, baby. You're gonna thank me one day. I wish I had a video looking this cute, honey.